after editing the original audio, I took those loops and built a structure resembling a song and then color coded it. This light blue section here in the beginning is the intro, and the dark blue section here is the first verse and then it has some changes later on, but we're going to be focusing on this beginning part right here where the first verse starts. Without vocals, it sounds like this. Now that there's a rough version of the song mapped out, it makes my life a little bit easier for recording the vocals. So the first thing I'm going to do is record a rough version of what I currently have for lyrics. There's something about death that draws us in Like teeth on a womb inviting to crawl into Now that I have my vocals recorded, I'm going to play back the beginning of the song starting with the intro and then into the first verse with the vocal track. There's something about death that draws us in Like teeth on a womb inviting to crawl into if it's abrasive to the senses, then it's something we'll enjoy. Fascination mixed with morbid curiosity holds the eye. Innately insecure, we're terrified of our mortality. There's nothing more we hate to hear and nothing more we like to see than ourselves in an early grave. Mankind in an early grave. Now that I've got a rough skeleton built digitally, I'm going to go back to the acoustic guitar and start fleshing out some of the chords for the changes. Something about I went into this project knowing that I was going to be doing a couple of different versions of the song. What I've got right now is the acoustic version, which is going to be me just playing the acoustic guitar and the drum set. The acoustic electric version, which is going to be more or less the same song, except I'll be running my vocals and the guitar through a couple of pedals, which is how the song will be performed in a live setting. And then the album version, which will be a multi-tracked version. 
I've got the first two versions figured out, but the recorded version is giving me a hard time. When I actually put my album out in about a year's time, I will be re-recording this and all the songs I do up until then. But in the meantime, I don't really know what to do with the recorded version of this song right now. And I've only got about three more days until I'm putting this all out, so I'm going to go ahead at this point and record the acoustic version right now and probably do the acoustic electric version tomorrow and chisel away at the recorded version and hopefully I come up with something good in the next couple of days. I've run into a serious problem while recording. I've been doing the acoustic electric version with making use of all these fancy pedals here behind me, and the volume knob on my acoustic guitar went out. What that means is either I get absolutely no signal, or randomly it'll just cut in and just be all volume up and gainy as hell. So I'm not able to get any constant level on the output of the guitar. If I were playing it just as an acoustic would be fine, but the fact that I'm running the electric output through all of these pedals, that's causing a major problem. So I'm extremely frustrated and I'm going to keep trying because it's random. It randomly will work just fine. So I'm going to hope that I can get it to work so that I can get this song done. Fortunately, I work relatively well when my back is up against a deadline, so I put my mind to the idea of coming up with the song while I began chiseling away at the video you're watching right now, and while I was shooting and editing it, I was able to mentally come up with an idea for the album version, which I have here behind me. For the purposes of this video not dragging on forever, I'm not really going to go too in-depth in the creation process of the digital version of the song. On future songs, I might flesh that process out a little bit more for you. If anyone's interested, let me know in the comments. So I'll walk you quickly through the general concept of the album version of the song. Whenever I'm working digitally on a song, the first thing I'll do is set the metronome. The first thing I'll record is the digital drum set. The next thing that I'm going to do is lay down a bass track. I like my bass to have a little bit of gain on it. I then added a synth. I had to play a lot to make this noise. Which gave it a little bit more depth. Really for the full brunt of that, you're going to have to listen to the song on your computer when I upload it. I also added a piano tone to give it a little bit more depth. And of course, I've got five different vocal tracks so I could do some harmonies. Just to give you an idea, here is what is essentially the chorus, maybe the bridge. I still need to put quite a bit of work into making the vocals sound a lot smoother and cleaner, but the backing track is more or less done. To be honest, I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out, given the amount of time that I was able to dedicate to it. 
just about 24 hours till I need to put this all up. As far as the video for this song, I have an idea for something like a lyric video that I want to do. However, with the quality of my camera, I'm not sure if the idea is going to translate as well as I have in my head. The link to that video will be in the description of this video. So at this point, I just need to finish editing this version of the song and editing the corresponding video. I need to finish editing the video for the acoustic electric version. I need to finish editing the video that you are currently watching. Plus, I have a pretty solid idea for the videos I want to put on Facebook and Instagram to promote the song. So I need to shoot both of those videos, edit and upload them. I think that I'm going to do my LinkedIn campaign a little differently. I don't think I currently even have a single follower on Twitter, so I'll probably just put a vanilla link to one of the videos on there. Side note, if you're on Twitter, go ahead and follow me so I can have at least one follower. Just one. Hoping for just one. Anyway, I'm not going to put any more time into this making of video. And the fact that you're watching it means that I reached my deadline. Although the past version of myself from your view, but the current version of myself from my perspective, I've got less than 24 hours to finish all this stuff up. So I'm going to stop working on this making of video and get back to the song portion, which is what this is all about, isn't it? Thank you for watching this all the way through. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you in the future at some point.